Yeah, these are the birds that I was talking about last night, I think. What are they? Are you a starling? Are you a swallow? Can someone please let me know who you are? They're so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> are you shitting my fucking dick? I've been waiting for Jeopardy all fucking day, and this fucking cretin, who's not even gonna be the fucking president anymore, is fucking interrupting my Jeopardy! I stayed sober for nothing. I planned my whole day around Jeopardy. I always plan my whole day around Jeopardy, but especially today, I've been planning my fucking reading around Jeopardy, been planning my run, been planning fucking everything, as always, around Jeopardy. And then this happens. Joe Biden, this is a crime against the autistic community, and you will never be able to atone for your sin. I will never forgive you. Yuna began to talk directly to God, asking why he would let such terrible things happen to his earth. Couldn't he hear them? But it was Jerusalem's voice in the breeze answering the question. The universe is always in balance, she said. Summer and winter, day and night, sustenance and poison, good and evil. To know the light, you must know the darkness. I've seen too much darkness, Yona answered in an angry whisper, but when carrying her words skyward, skyward, we all have. When will it end? <laughs> there was no reply. You can't heal a heart that has been smashed to pieces. You can only move forward doing your best to hold the shards together until they eventually form into something new. I'm trying to find my way back to life, you see. It's just taking me longer than I expected. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Listen, Bunny, I'm being hexed. I just know I'm being hexed because there's no way my bad decisions have led me to this life. It must be someone else's fault, right? Listen, Bunny, I'm being hexed. I need your help. <laughs> You know how they say that printers can sense fear, and I think so can computers, because I was just looking up, I've been printing into steel guitars, been wanting one, but lately, as of today, I would like a pedal steel. And so, I was looking them up to see how much one of those costs, and they're all like $2,000, so naturally I yell out loud, $2,000! And then right then my computer just turned off, it just like died, but it didn't die, because it was plugged in and fully charged. But I scared it with my, with my fear. What a blessing! What a blessing! I love the moon. I love these cliffs. I love these trees. I love you, Mama Caleb. Woo! I'm gonna go faster than that. I'm just kidding. I'm so jealous of them. They didn't even have a nightmare about their ex-boyfriend last night. Well, I ran to the reservoir. Woo! A red-tailed hawk. I think. And who might you be? I can't see. It's backlit. Bunny! They tell you that one of the best things to get your nervous system back to normal after abuse is exercise because of the endorphin release. Which is one reason why it's such a bitch-ass, dick-ass, douche-ass, pussy-ass, Bitch ass, I just a bitch ass. Anyways, fuck ass move. For Ethan to leave me six days before surgery because then I couldn't get any exercise because I wasn't allowed to lift anything or move or couldn't physically lift anything or move for over a month. So I had over a month of being stuck in fight or flight and not being able to fight or fly. Um, that sucked. But what they don't tell you is that you can use abuse to help further your exercise. Like today when I was running, whenever I would slow down or want to stop, I would just think about Ethan and it would activate my fight or flight response so intensely that I would start sprinting. <laughs> so if you want to lose weight, um, go into an abusive relationship, get out of it, and then use that anxiety, girl. Use that anxiety. <laughs> Also, I know if anybody's been here since the first Ethan breakup vlog, you know that, that I was in denial and I was saying he wasn't abusive. I don't want anybody to think I, like, changed my mind. I mean, I did. I, 
I, just what I'm trying to say is I was in denial the same way I was in the denial in the first Stephen breakup. Because they both had me convinced that I was the abuser. Stephen even told me, my therapist says that you're the abusive one. And I was like, um, really? Because I talked to your therapist and all he said was that I have ADHD. <laughs> and I think you would probably call me out on my abuse because that's what a therapist is supposed to do. Anyway, um, I don't think I'm the one punching holes in the wall and pushing me into the wall and saying the nastiest shit to me. All I said was, fuck you, and now you're calling me a fucking abuser. But I believed it because I hold myself to a really high standard and they knew that and they took advantage of that and they had me convinced that I was the bad guy. And after a lot of therapy and a lot of remembering and a lot of running, I realized I messed up quite a few times and I wasn't perfect, but I was having a reaction to real abuse. And I'm not a perfect person, but I definitely would never put someone through the shit that they put me through, and that is for sure. Oh, and one time I threw a pillow, and I never fucking heard the end of that. That was with Steven. I didn't even throw it at him. I threw a pillow at the wall, and he acted like I committed a mass atrocity. And fucking he'd already punched something. He'd already punched something that day. Oh, I'm so pissed off. There's a crazy cool sounding bird out there, and I can't get out there because I'm taking a bath. Because I got to soak my legs. And so it's super hot, and then I'll go soak them in the river. Bird, you better be at the river when I get there. Oh. That was aggressive. I hope that there's a nice... I'm sure there will be a nice bird when I'm at the river. There's always some nice birds. I don't need to worry. I don't need to worry. That is not mine. We all know that's not mine. I don't know why I'm giving away free feet right now. I'm just so generous. I'm so giving. I'm so altruistic. I'm a philanthropist. I'm a philanthropist. My family's doing another fucking balloon release. I won't be going. They never fucking listen to me. It doesn't matter. Fucking, oh, it's our grandma, it's our great grandma Joyce's birthday and she's dead. Let's pollute the waterways and, uh, and, and fucking waste helium. And you might be thinking, oh, Lex, you care too much about litter. You're always talking about litter. Yeah, the litter is a big deal. It does pollute the waterways and it does kill animals. Also, so do, um, lanterns, cows, it kills cows. Anyway, um... That is a big deal to me, yeah, but you, what's an even bigger deal is the wasting of helium. Like, we need helium for MRI machines and other things. Like, we actually fucking need helium, and it's a non-renewable resource, and you're just saying, oh, yeah, releasing balloons into the sky and killing everything is more fucking important to me than people being able to get MRIs. And we're humans. Like, we'll probably figure out something else for MRIs, I guess, instead of helium at the end of the day, and life will go on, and... Maybe animals will learn not to eat balloons and the, and the waterways will clear themselves. I guess everything will be fine, but it's just so fucking frustrating people's priorities. Like, I would rather release a bunch of balloons into the sky than fucking survive and have a nice earth. Fuck you. Everyone would much rather be told that things are fine, the world is safe, we're all nice people, and nothing is anyone's fault. Above all, that we can keep on doing exactly whatever we like, like letting balloons into the air with helium without taking any thought or changing our so-called lifestyle in the least, and there will be no bad consequences. I'd like to be told that too. Trouble is, it's not true. I have decided that finally, for my own mental health, I will be removing people from this channel. I've always wanted this to be a space where anyone can say anything because I believe in free speech, but it's gotten to the point where I am so sick of the porn guys that come in here for my porn and they're fucking brain dead porn addicts and they have no fucking sense of what to fucking say and they don't even watch me or listen to what I say. They just fucking jack off the whole time or something while they're here and then they fucking think I say something because for a second they stop thinking about jacking off to me and they hear a word I say and they completely misunderstand everything I fucking say and leave some dumbass comments. Like there's this one guy on my bookstore video talking about how he wanted to nut in the fucking bookstore. Just fucking keep that to yourself. Fucking Jesus. And then fucking on my video where I was talking about how it's annoying when people project their own fear onto you and how it's, it's extremely unrealistic too. Like how everyone's always telling me to watch out for rattlers. Even like, and no, nobody's fucking telling me to watch out for cars. Everyone's dying way more in car crashes, not from fucking snakes. And I was literally talking about how their fear is unrealistic. And he fucking commented, it's being realistic. And it's the smart choice. Like acting like I'm fucking stupid. No, you're fucking stupid. I'm sick 
and, to, and I don't even want to respond at this point. Like, I don't even want to respond when you do not hear the words I say. I am so tired of speaking into the void. I am so fucking tired of explaining myself to deaf ears. You do not have the fucking capacity to understand me You because you have the fucking IQ of this fucking ceiling fan. And I, I, I can't handle it anymore. I, I'm really going to start removing people from this channel. So... I will be careful what you comment from now on because this is not a safe space anymore. This is now my safe space and you all can go fuck yourselves. Another guy who really annoyed me but I haven't taken off yet just because, it, I don't know, it's fine. But um, if he annoys me again, I'll probably get taken off too because now I feel like I'm, I'm going to really start doing this shit. I'm really going to start taking people off. But fucking, he got mad at me for calling myself an incel because people want me and I'm just picky and I would never know the extreme lows and the extreme hardships in Sills face. He literally, you will never understand the highs and lows of high school football me about fucking insult. Like, I'm sorry for fucking appropriating your insult culture, dude. It's called a joke. And it was literally a joke about me being an insult, not even me taking it seriously, not even me being hard on myself. And what else did he do that annoyed? I don't know. You can go find the comment yourself if, I, if he doesn't end up getting taken off of this channel. But oh, and he was mad because I made it. Oh, it doesn't even. It doesn't even fucking matter. It's not even worth me fucking talking about. I'm just saying, a lot of insults on here are really pissing me off, and I don't feel like being pissed off anymore. I just want to be have a chill, nice life, insult free. Actually, also, just while we're talking about this, there is one person that I have hidden from the channel before like six months ago or something because on every single fucking video that I made, I cry almost every video at least. And, it, and on every fucking video that I cried, which is almost every fucking video, he kept commenting, stop crying. Or something like crying is for babies. Or just fucking telling me, I'm like, this is my diary. A girl cries in her diary. What are you doing in my diary? Get out. And yeah, I could just ignore the comments, but the problems with incels is when you ignore them, they just get more and more heinous. Like the guy whose username was like literally like forever alone guy or something that I was just talking about. On my video where I talked about how if I don't want to be with a man for any reason, no matter how stupid it is, even if it's I don't like an emoji he uses, which was used as an example as an extreme right? Even if it's that stupid, I don't have to be with that guy. I get to make that choice. Only I get to choose who I'm with. And on that exact video, he commented, huh, got me wondering if I'm your type. But then I didn't reply. And then I get the big long three paragraph comment about how stupid I am for saying that in the last video on a whole nother video. He's mad I didn't reply and now he's fucking yelling at me. So I think it just might be best not to ignore them and to just take them off the channel because if I ignore them, they just get fucking nastier and nastier with me. It really doesn't work. And of course, he also doesn't understand a word I say. Like, why would I fucking date someone who doesn't even understand where I'm coming from, who doesn't even fucking listen to me? I'm not gonna fucking date you, dude. And now you're pissed off at me when we're not even compatible. You don't even understand when I'm fucking joking or making an example. And it, it and it is like a half joke because if I really did want to re reject a guy over an emoji, I can. That's my choice. That's the point. It, the point is that it is ridiculous, that it is kind of a joke, but like... Oh my god, you're gonna insult me over that? I used to feel like if I hid people from the channel and blocked them from commenting, then that made me a bad person because I was like taking away their right to express themselves. But they can do that literally anywhere else. I'm expressing myself on my little corner of the internet so I can say whatever the fuck I want and you can go do so on your little corner of the internet but my little corner of the internet is for people with fucking brain cells that make fucking sense and listen to each other and understand each other. And if you can't handle that, then I cannot handle you. And I'm not weak for not being able to handle it because I handled it for a long time. I handled it just fine. But I don't have to. I don't have to put up with it. And it's just so... I mean, it's so fine because at the end of the day, I can say whatever I want on here and it's never going to be as bad as me going onto someone else's video and commenting some bullshit. Only fucking freaks comment on videos. I'm not talking to you, Pat. I know you comment on videos just because, like, we're buddy-buddy. And, like, other 
my friends used to come on these videos and I'm not talking about them either. Now my friends are like, oh, I already have any friends. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, point is anyone going on a stranger's fucking video and starting a fight is a fucking freak and it's not somebody I need in my life. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Can you picture any normal fucking person, you know, commenting on a video, especially commenting something hateful or weird or strange? Because I can't, I can't picture any of the fucking normies in my life commenting the shit I get. Like, <laughs> you're not normal, go away. Most boring, normal people scare me. I'm talking about sane people that are well adjusted to this earth. That's what I mean by that. You are not well adjusted to this earth, neither am I personally, but at least I'm not at the point where I'm making that other people's problem. I do that on my own little corner of the internet, not invading anyone else's to make a scene. Um, guys, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. I feel so Oh my god, you know those flaming flare peppers that I grew in the garden? Well, I chopped some up and I put them in my soup. Very delicious, very delicious. But then I didn't wash my hands after eating. And then I washed my vagina. I mean, I touched my vagina. And now it's burning. I gotta get back in the shower. They don't even know I got flaming flare pepper in my vagina. <laughs> <laughs> They're playing. They're having fun. They hate me. They want me dead. Oh my gosh, that one's sitting on the slanted wire. It could be like a sly. Oh, that one's up there. Oh, that one's up there. Oh, that one's up there. They love being up there.